All right, greetings, Fright Knights and Gorehounds. This is Count Jackula and the Horror Guru here. We are about to head off to Days of the Dead. We did a uh, vlog like this when we went to Crypticon two years ago, and we thought it'd be cool to give it a try this time. So uh, I guess for now, uh, we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, Horror Guru here. Uh, we just stopped to get some gas to uh, prepare for the, to get on the road. So uh, I'm just giving a quick little update here and uh, just saying, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of exciting to get back on the road again. Um, we haven't done a con together like this in a while. Um, and uh, we kind of wanted to, to go full bore and do a whole bunch of them after Crypticon, but just so many things came up and so many non-horror related cons we had to go to as well, you know, like... Uh, Magfest and things like that, so it's kind of cool to be back on the road again together as the duo, the dynamic duo, to uh, go to another con. So, uh, um, well, I guess I got not much, not much to say here other than uh, Jack's in the bathroom and uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for uh, him to get back so that we can get the show back on the road. Um, uh, I, I guess one thing I could inform you guys about is that I uh, I made a made an angry road mix that we've been listening to it's got such bands as you know slipknot and uh fucking uh kill switch engage and just various bands i like there's a judas there's a judas pre song on there there's some ozzy osbourne so yeah um if you're gonna go to a horror con you better pack some metal or punk punk works too anyway uh with that all said uh looks like jack is back so we're gonna get back on the road peace out Oh my, 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 there it is. Big Bubba's Bad Barbecue. Oh man, I'm so excited. And here we are, Big Bubba's Bad Barbecue. I'd like to point you and direct you to this uh, logo here. Um, I would like to say that that is a lie. Uh, it is showing us a nice, happy cow, but there is only delicious dead ones inside. Um, I also like to think that this uh, serves as a warning, you see. Don't eat here, or you're gonna be fat like a cow. <laughs> oh my God, what do we have here? Holy crap, that is painted to look like a cow. It's a light fixture with cow print on it. Even the speaker looks like a cow. Oh, oh, wait, wait. You're right, even the speaker. It's kind of dark in here, but you get, you, you get my drift. I, I fucking love this place. And here we are, the fire pit right outside. Now, it's not on right now. Last time we were here, it was actually turned on, which was pretty freaking cool. Um, but as you can see inside there, it is a real fire pit inside a cage. And you can actually eat out here, I believe. We got, like, benches and shit. Yep. You know, it's pretty cool. And over here, we've got this, this cow, once again. The cow is a lie. And now we are going to go inside, and we are going to eat deliciousness. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this guy's face I don't trust. I think it's the hat. Wait, what? Hey, fuck you. I do what I want. You can't... I won't do what you tell me. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer Take my hand And we'll make it, I swear Whoa We're losing the lyrics <laughs> So we just ate uh, Big Bubba's Bad Barbecue I probably mixed those up there But we, we ate there it Yeah, was, yeah, we totally ate there It's fucking delicious totally What'd you have? I had the pulled pork sandwich That's fucking delicious yep. And you, you, you shut up You shut up, GPS You yeah, shut up Yeah, yeah, it, It's trying to get me to it's weird. It's like I'm on the 101, but it's trying to get me to go this other way. I'm like, what? Why do I want to go US 101 North? That doesn't make any sense. We're going to Los Angeles. That's weird. Yeah, let me. This is an alternate route. That's what that means. Uh, do 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 do. Fighting with technology. The Count Jacula daily life. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> pretty much like everything. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, uh, as of this recording, I don't know how much of Big Bubba's Bad Barbecue I edited, in, I or Jack edited into this video, but uh, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool little place, you know? Yep. 
It's got, it's got some awesome shit. Like, it's got, like... All right, there we go. Thank you. It's got, like, this big fucking, like, ox head that, like, fucking talks to you if you press it's the button. It's a buffalo. It's a buffalo. It's got a fucking buffalo. Oh, my God. That thing's probably my new favorite thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might think it's glamorous watching over everyone from way up here on this wall. Uh, yeah. See, the white man came in and killed all the buffaloes so they could make them animatronics. Yes, that, that was what exactly <laughs> what we did. And I th did we miss that the first time we came? Cause we I did. did. I think we did. I didn't realize it talked. Yeah, I did. I did. I didn't know that. So that was that was pretty fucking cool. And uh, it's also got a jail cell, which uh, we got a photo of us last year with um, Kaluna with Kaluna in yeah. inside the jail cell, um, which I'm probably or some of us, some one of, one of us is going to edit that into this video. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if yeah. we didn't, you can yell at us in the comment section for uploading this without having done that because. We're dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have that picture somewhere. I think Kaluna has it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we got it uploaded onto social medias um, from last year. But yeah, yeah. Big Bo's B Bad Barbecue. My, 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 my new favorite halfway point between San Francisco and Los Angeles. So. Yep. So it's pretty awesome. We got another three-hour drive ahead of us. and yeah, Three uh, hours and nine minutes according to this. Pretty much. Um, so uh, we're basically going to rock out for a bit. You know, maybe talk about the finer things in life. You know, like like Hearst Castle, apparently. Like Hearst Castle. What the fuck is Hearst Castle? I have actually no idea. I just saw a sign for it. Oh, okay. Like Hearst Castle. That way, I'm like, what? Well, I do like castles. Yeah. I do like Hearst. About the, the William Randolph Hearst. Ah, okay. Got it. Rock on. Rock on. Alrighty then. So uh, we will catch you all next time. We have something to say. Um, and, uh, when we do, uh, see you then. So, see you at the next jump cut. Yeah! Greetings, everyone, again. Uh, we just got out of some heavy-ass fucking traffic that was, yeah. was, was pretty bad. Pretty fucking bad. Um, uh, not much really to report here. I guess I, I, could, uh, I could go over some of the fun stuff we brought with us. We brought, a. Uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at some of the, the music we brought with us. We brought, we brought John Carpenter's Lost Themes, which is fucking awesome, fucking rad. You need to own this if you love movie soundtracks. Yeah. Even though it's not a movie soundtrack, it's a movie soundtrack for your life, which is fucking awesome. Um, and uh, we got we got a Monarch Marth's jo Joms Viking or Joms Viking or however it's pronounced. I, I am not Swedish, so I don't know the proper pronunciation, but. A tragic, tragic tale of a Viking's love gone awry and, you know, murder, beheadings. It's a lot of murder, yeah. Whole lot of murder. Just saying, a whole lot of people die in this and it's fucking awesome. All right, we got that. Let's see what we got here. We got we got Ghost Meliora, which is one of my favorite albums of last year. Yeah, I've, mine too. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking rad. You should own it, especially if you love Satan as much as we do. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. There you go. All right, awesome. We got, now one of these things is not like the others. <laughs> okay, so what we got here is Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly, which was recommended to us thanks by to- By Rap Critic. Yeah, yeah, by Rap Critic at MAGFest, who actually played some of it for us in the car. Well, I wasn't there, but Jack was. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was. And then Jack showed me later, and this is actually a really fucking awesome album. I recommend it oh, to yeah. people. Even if you aren't really into rap music, like I generally am not, this is this is a true piece of art. This is... Yeah, it's a true concept album. It's absolutely. Really it is fucking beautiful. It is, it is simultaneously an exploration of Kendrick Lamar's influences, starting from like the 70s and 60s all the way to now, as well as being a great social commentary about, you know, the state of America. Yeah, and being black in America, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the kind of kind of story that you don't hear. Kind of story you hear a lot, but like um, Kendrick Lamar tells it in a way that it just communicates it really well. Really Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we also got uh, got the new Kill Switch Engage. Highly recommend it. Pretty awesome. Pretty rad. Fuck yeah. And. Uh, the rest are all like burn CDs that we burn for the trip, so uh, that's about it. I don't know. Anything you want to talk about? Anything cool? Oh 
man. Uh, we just drove through Pismo Beach, mm -hmm. uh, and that is the Pismo Beach of Looney Tunes lore. You know, Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat. And uh, it's kind of nice. One of the things I thought was kind of funny is that we go, we, we travel to LA down the 101, which is uh, one of two ways to get from LA to from Northern California. Mm -hmm. Tony Goldmark likes to take the other way, which I always thought was kind of funny because the other way sucks. It, it's not as cool. It doesn't go through Pismo Beach for one thing. But it is faster. It is faster. It's faster by about 30, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, but for me, like, that time is worth... It is worth an extra 30 to 45 minutes on an easier ride than it is to be to be going faster but like hating life fair enough um you know because that one is just like strict like highway mm -hmm. nothing to look at highway <laughs> yeah yeah where uh, here there's there's figurative roses to smell you know yeah yeah like there's a reason the OC there's a reason 101 is mentioned in the OC driving down the 101 California. But the other way is not. Ah. You know, because it's just not as interesting. Makes sense. Highway 101 is usually mentioned more than any of the other roads. Yep. So, yeah, no. We're just kind of on the road, chilling out, chillaxing. Look at all those fucking. Uh, you can't really see it. Oh, well. Well, it's better than, like, I, I gotta say, like, driving down to LA is a lot better than driving up to Seattle. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, there's way more cool stuff down here, and Seattle's just, it's, it's, Seattle's like, there's a whole lot of nothing. There's stuff around yeah. here. Like, even if it's just bush and trees and shit, that's stuff. You know, or mountains, which are yeah. cool. Yeah, the mountains are cool, but god damn it, as far as, like, civilization is concerned, holy fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I, that, that one, that one, I'm never gonna forget that one sign that pointed to a Walmart and it was just like a box. Oh yeah, yeah, it was just one of those like trailers, like the back, the, the like like the back of one of these like big rigs, but without the front. <laughs> yeah, and like that was the Walmart. We were like, yeah, gotta be. No. And it was a Walmart like 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 a uh, uh, delivery truck too. So yeah. it's kind of funny. Um, You're like, what what possible selection could they have there? I wish we 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 had been. I wish we had been recording when that happened. That would have been great. Oh God, yeah, man, that was weird. It's fucking awesome. Well, that was that was kind of the indication of how much nothing was up there. Most definitely. And then for, for those of you wondering, we're talking about our trip to Crypticon a few years ago, which we did release a vlog for on Count Jackula's channel, which you should definitely search his backlog to find if you want to see how that trip went. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, that trip went well. I think those vlogs stop in the middle of the trip, we get the trip because at some point we stopped recording because we got so fucking busy with the show. Oh, absolutely. We didn't have time to actually turn the camera on. Well, we were actually guests there. Well, you yeah. were a guest. I was your plus one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Count Jackula was guesting at Crypticon. Doo -doo -doo. Yep, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. We might be able to get that. Might be able to might be able to do that again this year. Agree. Like they could get, they'd probably still give us a room. We'd still have to pay for the plane ticket, but a plane ticket to Seattle is like 150 bucks. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not too bad. You know, it costs about as much to go there round trip as it does to like fucking drive to LA round trip. Makes sense. Sounds good. Alrighty then. Anyway, not much more to update on, so uh, I will catch y'all on the uh, the next jump cut. I don't think these are actually our jump cuts. They're just cuts. Oh well. I'm sticking to it. I am committing to this phrase of the jump cut. Jump cut? Yes. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, jump around. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, jump. And I just gave everybody, everyone's throwing up right now. I regret nothing. <laughs>